What's going on guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video where today it is time for a free to play team update because my team has changed so much in the last two weeks that it's almost honestly not even recognizable at this point. It, it is insane how much has changed, especially with the pack luck that I've had. If you guys didn't see at the very end of my last team update, I pulled the team of the season, Austin Matthews. So of course I put him on the team. I also pulled that 97 tradable Ovechkin and I pulled a couple other tradable cards to give me over 500k on my free-to-play account. 500k. What did I do with that 500k? Of course, I invested it right back into the team and bought team of the season choice packs to add players to the squad. And the team is looking disgusting. Now, this is my record. As you can see, I am 402, 152, and 11 throughout the year here on my free-to-play account. Zero dollars spent. Not a single dime has gone into this account. Everything has been done by playing. Either it's Rush or Rivals or Squad Battles or Champs. And of course, obviously the free stuff from EA, whether it's the Zadina or the Pro Cop or the Matthews or whatever that EA gave out for free. Of course, I built my team with those players as well. Um, you guys are going to notice a lot of changes from the last team update, and that's because I've traded in all the players after getting the team of the season players. Like, Zadina is no longer in my collection. He's gone. Same with a couple other players who were on the team for a very long time. I've traded them in for collectibles to build a master from this event. And that master is Mitch Marner. Of course, I had to have Marner on the team because I do have his best friend. Okay, are they best friends? I have his line mate. Are they line mates? I have his teammate, Austin Matthews. I don't follow the Leafs that much anymore, but um, I got to have them on the same line, Taylor. So I got Marner and Matthews on the first line. I built Marner straight from stuff in my collection. Uh, super happy to have him on the team too because he's super quick and I needed that top tier right-handed player. I did not get him in my team of season choice packs, but I did get two insane additions to the team from the team of season choice packs. So can't really complain there. So of course we have Mitch Marner, we have Austin Matthews, my new number one center will be on the team and my number one C the rest of the year, of course. But we also have 98 overall team of the season, Jonathan Huberdeau, who we got and of course a team of the season choice pack. Now, after pulling that 97 tradable Ovi and getting my rivals and champs rewards and selling everything that I got out of there, we were able to get a team this season choice pack and we got Jonathan Huberdo. That's awesome, a huge addition to the team. So my first line is 98, 99, 98. That is disgusting. My second line has the Nathan McKinnon we got back in January in a rivals rewards pack. I've had this card on my team for over 200 games. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna, not gonna say that he is the team of the season edition. He's not that godly, but 94 overall, Nathan McKinnon. Can't complain with the card. And now for my second insane pull out of the team of the season choice packs, I bought Sidney Crosby. 25 games with him. I absolutely love Crosby's build every single year, and I have him on my free-to-play team. I couldn't be happier. So now we have McKinnon, we have Crosby, and of course we have Connor McDavid. I only have him at a 96. I'm not going to upgrade him anymore. I've had McDavid since December, literally December, and I've just been upgrading him with the uh, free cards that we get in Rush and shit like that throughout the year. Like, it's super simple to upgrade. I don't feel I need to upgrade him anymore. I don't think it's worth it to upgrade him anymore with all the different collectibles just for one overall or whatever. So Connor McDavid, Sidney Crosby, and Nathan McKinnon here on my second line. And on line three, Troy Terry, who I believe you guys seen me pull in the last team update video. No, but it was Jason Robertson, who is no longer on the team. I traded Robertson in. That's what happened. So I have Troy Terry on the team because Troy Terry, I liked his card more than Robertson. So I traded Robertson in to get collectibles for Mitch Marner. I have Tyler Sagan. I built him way back in January, of course. Um, I was able to build him all the way up with all the collectibles that you get just by playing the game. This was a super simple card to make. And of course, we do have Dylan Larkin. I do plan on upgrading him, I think. I want him at 95. I'm going to start uh, saving up my Rivals rewards and whatnot and trade them in for Nations of Hockey collectibles to get him up all the way. He's my favorite player. I might as well have him up all the way. And on my fourth line, we have David Pasternak, who we pulled back in January in a reroll, I believe. We have Nazem Kadri, who was my third choice pack that I did. Unfortunately, I got Nazem Kadri. Was hoping for someone a little bit better. Now, of course, Nazem Kadri is still a really good card. 95 overall. He is a center. That allowed me to get rid of other players that were on the team. I believe it was Steven Stamkos who was here. So Stamkos was traded in. Johnny Goudreau was traded in. Um, I traded in Bowen Byram. I traded in I traded in all these guys to build Mitch Marner. So I don't want you guys to think that I was just able to build Marner, no problem. I traded in all the players that were on my team in order to get Mitch Marner the way he is. And of course, we have Patrick Kane still on the team. I built him. Uh, he's not going up any further past 92. I don't have the... Uh, 18 moments collectibles and honestly i'd rather put them in the larkin instead of kane 
So we're going to do that. So my offense is now set. I don't see a reason to upgrade really anything. Um, I'm not going to get rid of Nazem Kadri unless I pull something and then I can trade Kadri in. It's just not worth it. So the offense is absolutely sick. Now, as for my defense, we have Deline. Of course, you guys knew I had him already in the last video, as well as I pulled Adam Fox. You guys seen that in the last video as well. So my top two D-men are now disgusting Deline and Fox. I'm very happy to have Fox. Of course, I have him on my main team and he's been very good for me. So that's a very good, solid top two. As for my third defenseman, I have Henrik Tormenez. Um, I did get him in a Team of the Season choice pack. Um, unfortunately, didn't get anything better than him. But, I mean, he's 94 overall. He's 6'1". This could be a really good card. It just it is unfortunate it wasn't somebody better. Uh, we do have Eric Carlson. This is the free one you get for completing all the objectives. I got him in about a month. Got him in February, actually. So, the team is looking good, right? Everything's great. And this is where I had Bowen Byram. But I had almost 600k. I had like 580k at one point on my free-to-play account. And I bought all Team of the Season choice packs. And I was able to get... Okay, I got Devontae's. He was the best one out of there. But you know what? He's going into the playoffs. Maybe they give him a couple more upgrades. He is another good defenseman to have. And of course, I do have Rasmus Anderson as well. I got in a... Guess what? Reroll! That's right. I didn't actually... Yeah, I got him in a reroll. So it's okay. I didn't get him out of the Team of the Season choice pack. It was a reroll. Don't worry. But I was able to trade in the defensemen that were there. I believe I had 90 Cam Fowler. Um, I pulled 92 Jacob Truba and 92... Uh, there's another 92 that's out. That wasn't Jacob Truba, obviously. I, I forget who it was, but I traded them in for collectibles to build the Mitch Marner. And then, of course, in net, we're still rocking the Freddie Anderson because I don't have another goalie. And he's six foot four. Decent aggression, decent stats, decent abilities. Screw it. Might as well keep them in. For synergies, we have Distributor, Spark, Thief, Workhorse, Gladiator, Booming Shot, Light the Lamp, Fly the Zone, Wingman, Buzzing, and Bombardment. And I have Heart and Soul on, apparently. So we, we got a ton of synergies, um, a bunch of abilities active, including um, Light Work and Post to Post on Freddy. Uh, Crosby has Elite Edges and Tape to Tape. Connor McDavid with Tape to Tape and Magnetic. Uh, Matthews has Elite Edges. Cubido with tape to tape. Fox has shut down. Deline has shut down. Taze has shut down. Uh, Anderson has shut down. Marner has born leader. Tarmanez has stick him up. And I believe that is it. So a bunch of abilities active. Like, I'm very happy with my team, obviously. And it did take a lot of pack luck to get where we are. But at the same time, I do feel uh, pretty happy with a free to play team that looks like this. I think that uh, next year. If I can do the exact same thing that I did this year with my free-to-play team and be at this point with a team like this, I'll be extremely happy. Now, my record is 402, 152, and 11 here in uh, NHL 22 on my free-to-play account. I'm averaging about 18, 19 games a week. I don't play a ton. I do play all of Rush, though, because you get so many players to trade in. Um, a lot of people just dismiss Rush. It only takes about two and a half hours. I do think it's worth it with all the players that you get. You can trade in for different collectibles, different players, whatever. It really does help out, in my opinion. On top of that, of course, I am in Division 2, so I get decent rewards every week. I get about 120 to 150 cards a week. Um, just gold players, just by playing Rivals and Champs. So, definitely, I get a lot of cards I can just trade in, and it definitely helps out. And, of course, the pack luck helps getting big pulls. Cards like that Nathan McKinnon and the David Postonok and the Team of the Season Anderson. It definitely helps. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and let me know down below what you think of my free-to-play team. Now, of course, luckily for me, I had a bunch of X-Factors at one point, so I was able to downgrade all of those cards and use the collectibles to upgrade my McDavid higher. There's a lot of variables to my team, because while I may be free-to-play, I have put a lot of effort into the team, and I have put a lot of cards into the collection. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I have traded in pretty much every card that I've pulled this year to upgrade different players. Anyways, guys, like I said, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.